Nick Saban cemented his greatness long before Alabama's wild comb from behind overtime national championship win against Georgia, but the sidelined curmudgeon got the football world buzzing Monday night with the gutsiest move of his career. Jamie Squire a Getty Images Saban's decision to bench two-year starting quarterback Jalen Hurts at halftime for true freshman Tua Tagovailoa will become the stuff of legend. Tagovailoa rallied the Crimson Tide from a 13-point halftime deficit to the mountaintop again. Can you imagine if an NFL coach made that kind of quarterback switcheroo in the Super Bowl? There are obviously myriad factors to consider coaches' job security, starters' overall quality of play and backups' level of competence, but it's a fun exercise. Kevin C. Cox Jetty Images Here are five guys who have the stones to pull off what Saban did to win his sixth national title. Andy Clayton King of 5, Mike Zimmer We might have a great test case in the coming weeks. Case Keenum, starter of zero playoff games in his career, has lived a charmed life this season, but what if he struggles badly in the first half against the Saints this weekend would Zimmer turn to Teddy Bridgewater I have a feeling that the Vikings coach might channel his inner Saban. Gail Burton Nap 4, Bill O'Brien the Texans coach has proven to be an all-pro flip-flopper when it comes to his quarterbacks, probably because he hasnt really had a good one for most of his tenure. Remember, he benched starter Brian Hoyer for Ryan Mallett, yes, that Ryan Mallett in the fourth quarter of week one after a summer-long quarterback competition in 2015. Mallett was cut six weeks later. Then, O'Brien yanked starter Tom Savage for Deshaun Watson at halftime of week one this past season. That actually worked out before Watson suffered a season-ending torn ACL in practice a couple months later. Translation O'Brien has the guts to make a seismic change at the game's most important position at any time. Marcio Jose Sanchez App 3 Kyle Shanahan Shanahan was Washington's offensive coordinator when we first started to notice that Kirk Cousins might actually be better than Robert Griffin III. Mike Shanahan and his son knew early on that the 2012 Offensive Rookie of the Year had a lower ceiling that Cousins. They've obviously been proven right. Kyle likely won't have to worry about benching his starter in a big spot anytime soon now that he's got Jimmy Garoppolo, but there is no doubt in my mind that the young coach would make that shrewd move if he had a lesser signal caller. Abby Pergetti Images 2. Pete Carroll The energic Seattle point man is all about competition. Compete for your spot, compete for you job, compete for your place on his team. Remember when $20 million man Matt Flynn was ostensibly handed the starting gig after signing his free agent deal in 2012 the quarterback pecking order was supposed to be Flynn, Javaris Jackson and some short third round rookie from Wisconsin, C. State. But Carroll kept an open mind. Russell Wilson outplayed everyone in training camp and the preseason, and the rest is history. Would it surprise you if Carroll did something goofy in a big spot? Heck, we've already seen Carroll do some unconventional stuff near the goal line in the biggest of moments. 1. Bill Belichick No list chronicling the cold, harsh business of football would be complete without the most compassionless successful coach of all time. Nobody understands the cutthroat business of sports better than the hoodie, who has cut benched and quarantined the best of the best. Belichick marginalized perennial pro. Bowler Drew Bledsoe for a sixth-round signal caller once upon a time, for Pete's sake. Nobody, however, is suggesting that Belichick would bench Tom Brady for Brian Hoyer at halftime of Super Bowl 52. Besides, Brady would probably just call Robert Kraft even if Belichick ever thought